Hmm, what's this? someone out there. There's a rival, Saxton Snapper. Wartime evacuees, escaping the Blitz, back in the 40s. The door is locked. Station Master! Mr. Danvers! Saxton treating you well, is it? Station Master, do you live in Saxton? That I do. Did the young lady get her purse back? Delivered personally. Oh, well done, sir. What news, Station Master? I hear Harbour Cottage has a new tenant. Me. Ah, thought it might be. Uh, everything all right, is it? No, not really. There's no power, and... And what? I'm not sure. There's something strange in the dark. Something... Oh, <laughs> look at us spooking ourselves. Still no trains. Station Master. No trains today. The spring... Spring tides flood the fens, I know. Nothing wrong with good old legwork. So the train tracks are safe to walk? Well, I didn't say that. But you should be quite safe during the day. Oh, are there night trains? No, but the tracks are different at night. Is this a station or a museum? A station, of course. But we are proud of our past. I'm guessing your father worked on the trains? Yes, and his father before him. So these photographs are personal to you? When they stay up. What do you mean? 
blasted things of a habit of falling down during the night. I imagine this station has a tale to tell. Oh, indeed it does. A right royal treasury of twice told tales. Are any specific to the tracks or these photos? Well, there was the great crash back in the 20s. The old apple train heading for London. Back in my father's time. What happened? He was master of this station back then. The apple train ran from Northfield Junction to London, carrying fruit for the local bigwig, Master Gurney. He owned the land around Northfield, and that train. Packed full of ripe apples it was, and his sorting staff. Sorting staff? To sort the apples? That's right, poor souls, paid pennies they were. That train had been running for, ooh, nigh on 30 years when it happened. What did happen, Station Master? It was the last train that evening, and a foggy night it was. My poor dad was out in the cold at Northfield Junction, waiting, waiting to change the tracks. He could hear the train approaching through the fog, so, like he'd done a hundred times, he pulled the lever. To divert the train on its course, only the lever jammed, stuck fast. My dad swore the fog itself seemed to curl and twist itself around that junction. It was a queer business, no mistake. Go on, Station Master. Well, my father thought fast, like anyone would in such circumstance. The train would derail when it hit that junction, so he lit his lamp to a fiery red, burning bright in the darkness. Old Tonka, the driver, could spot a red lamp a mile off, normally, but that damned fog, shouting he was, my poor old dad, that apple train was not slowing for no one. Then it happened, the grey engine loomed up out of the fog, and it caught the rails, screamed out its agony. My father threw himself into the reed by the side of the track, and watched in horror as the carriages toppled and fell into the river. He could hear the screams of the men on board, men he'd known all his life, trapped on the train as the cargo fell upon him pushing deeper into that murky water. Oh my god, they drowned? Every one of them. My dad tried to pull them free, but the bodies were... Were what? Please tell me. Beyond hope, smashed to pieces amongst the apples. The sweet smell of apples, and the sweet sickly smell of blood. He only spoke of it once, that same night in the bear. A few brandies helped. They always do. Oh boy, that was a night we'd never forget. My poor old dad. Oh, listen to me, getting all emotional. I blame you, sir. Time to get back to work. A small iced cake. <coughs> hello again, and uh, hello, George. Aha, uh -huh. we meet again, Mr. Danvers. Is there somewhere I can learn about the town? Oh, yes, indeed. The museum should satisfy your curiosity. A museum? Where is it? Right there. That's the outer wall. You'll find the entrance at the top of this path. Excellent. I'll be sure to pop in. Professor Oogle is away this morning. Oogle? Yes, the curator and a dear friend. I see. When will the museum open? I'll pop back this afternoon. I see a fair is arriving in town. 
Yes, it's a yearly event for May Day. Do you like fairgrounds? No, not really. They tend to be loud, garish, and full of creams. Oh, what a thing to say. Keep an open mind. You may like Reuben's Fair. Can you suggest some places to visit? Indeed I can. Any antique shops, bookshops, craft shops? There is an antique shop, but I tend to avoid the place. Why is that? It's unpleasant. I avoid it. So I suggest you do the same. Okay. What about local crafts? Say hello to Bob. Bob Tawney. He has a workshop on Station Lane. You'll like Bob. He's a kind and helpful soul. He's a true Saxton soul. What do you mean? His destiny lies here, in the town, like mine. You've been here a long time? We are here forever, as it always has been. Is the uh, lighthouse good for food? Oh, yes. Organic local produce only. Great. I thought food outside London was horrible. Not here, Nigel. Not in Saxton. What about archaeology? The museum is your best bet. Come back this afternoon. I'd love to learn more about the town's ghosts. Would you now? That's very interesting. Why, do you think it's silly? Not at all. Just be careful who you seek. What do you mean? Not all of Saxton's dead were pleasant souls in life. So, don't expect pleasant souls in death. I'll keep that in mind. Pop back later for tea. I'll have something for you. May I ask about something else? Of course. I'll help if I can. Can you take a look at this item? Of course. I'll help if I can. Oh, dear God. Whoever would do such a thing? A terrible business. Yes, vanished without trace, dratted creatures. Means nothing to me, sorry. <laughs> you may be in luck. Seek your destiny. That's not right. May I ask about something else? Of course, I'll help if I can. I'll let you get on with your uh, gardening. See you soon, my dear. The Saxton Bell. Symbolic images or ancient graffiti. How's the story going? What? Your story for the local newspaper? Oh, that. Yes, it's fine. Plenty to write up. Good, good. Well, um, that's good. It's Alex, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Alex Spitmore. Yes, what of it? Strange name. What's the origin? No idea. Buzz off, will you? Any theories on the treasure? Nope. Run along and play. I'll see you around. You will. Trust me.
Kieran, eh? I guess you'll be wanting my lunch. Hello again. Hello, lad. What can I do for you? Nanny Noah sent me. Did she now? Why would that be? I'm trying to learn about local crafts and folklore. I'm a bit busy right now, but I'll get into the bear post evening. Okay, I'll see you in the pub. This workshop is old fashioned. Is that a good or a bad thing, do you say? I don't know. Does all this stuff work? Work? Of course it works. If you've got something need fixing, bring it up here and old Tony will fix it for you. I'll keep that in mind, Mr Tony. Have you known Nanny Noah long? All my life, lad, and that's a long time. She seems to think highly of you. I think highly of her too. Oh, I see. Do I sense romance? Oh, if only, lad. But I've never, well, asked her hand if you know what I mean. Has she never married? She had a bit of bad fortune. Lost her husband. Many years ago it was. Any children? There was, but not now. The sea provides for this town, but it can also take away. What do you mean? It's the way of all things, lad. Can you tell me about the Anglo-Saxon treasure? Oh, you're after the treasure, are you? Can't help you there. I thought everyone in Saxton would know about it. I didn't say I didn't know anything. I see. Uh, no offence, lad. I'll leave you to your work. See you again, lad. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Where did you spring from? Right here. I'm staying in the cottage. Harbour cottage? Well, yes. Why? What's wrong? You tell me. Everything okay in there, is it? Well, it's got no power. Refrigerator, TV, hi-fi. That's not what I meant. That place has a reputation. A bad one. You didn't strike me as the superstitious kind, Miss Rubens. Oh, look, forget last night. I was tired and cold. Call me Lucy. What's the deal with Harbour Cottage? I'm not sure. We've always been told to stay away. Haunted, perhaps? Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're a believer. In ghosts? Well, I've seen a few things. You know, unexplainable. Unexplainable. Yes, that's one word for it. Are you okay? Yes, it's just that place. I had a bad experience in there, as a child. Want to talk about it? No, it was silly stuff. 
childhood fears, insecurities, monsters. It's freezing out here. Can't you feel it? Bad night, late night, too much local ale. Bad dreams, a vision of a room. That place will do your head in. You need to get out and about. Any suggestions? Ooh, Saxton is the tourist capital of the universe. The sea air might clear your head. Or you could try the caverns. Caverns? Yeah, just head towards the back of the beach. Watch out for Hardacre, though. I saw him heading that way. With his treasure hunting stuff. Sorry, I mean archaeology equipment. What do you know of the town's people? Not a lot, but I'll help if I can. Professor Hardacre's a strange one. <laughs> I know. Every year he turns up, looking for treasure, always digging, always hunting. Sad, really. Why sad? He has nothing else to do, and no one else. He's devoted to his quest. The old woman with the dog. Nanny Noah. Oh, she's a sweet old thing. I met her last night by the water's edge. She seemed... Distant? Yes, she gets like that. There's a tragedy in that woman's past. The signs are there. She seems very lonely. Yes, there was something between her and Bob Tawney. But, well, it's all palm reading, herbal teas and magic with her now. Oh, a bit new age, is she? Well, I never. What about the pub landlady? Morgan? Bold as horsebrush she is, and just as tacky. You don't get on? No, she was a bully at school. Once a bully, always a bully. Is that your professional analysis? Ha! I've got better minds to study than Morgan Mankles. Let's talk about something else. OK, what do you want to know? You must live nearby. That's right, we live by the harbour. We? Me, Mum, Dad, you know, the usual. Aha. Uh -huh. So you all organised the fair? You'd hope, but Mum likes long afternoons with the gin bottle, whereas Dad prefers to flirt with the horses at the track. But each May, the fair does happen in this town, so it's not all bad. Catch you later. Without doubt, my friend. Excuse me, may I disturb you? <laughs> Excuse me. So this is where you hide yourself, with the crabs and the fish heads? Is there something you want, Danvers? Is the treasure hidden amongst these rocks? If you look close enough, you can see the signs. About our meeting last night, 
on the harbour wall. Meeting? I didn't meet you, Danvers. We did meet last night. Get lost, Danvers. I've got proper work to do. What can you tell me about the lost Anglo-Saxon crown? Things that are lost are waiting to be found. But what of those precious items that have been hidden, stashed away for good reason? Should we go looking for treasures we are not supposed to find? Yes, it's just a folk tale, isn't it? It takes skill, understanding, and a strong mind to find what's hidden out there in the fence. It's an old land which can be unforgiving to those who blunder in with their eyes closed and their chins wagging. Know any local ghost stories? Take that cottage, harbour cottage, that you'll be staying in. Know much about it, do you? Are you saying the cottage is haunted? Listen out tonight as you're drifting into sleep. Listen for the sounds. Sounds? What sounds? You will know soon enough. They always do. Good hunting, Professor. Run along, boy, and play with the crabs. Strange creatures carved into the bedrock. It's too dark to see with my own eyes. Not so fast, Danvers. Yes, Professor? What's in that package? What package? I saw the station master struggling with it across the fence from Sedgemarsh. Oh, that? Nothing to worry, sir. Just, uh, equipment. Archaeology equipment? Maybe. I guess I should go collect it. It'll be waiting at Saxton Station. Run along. The Haddon Package. I'll open it in private. These gadgets are a mixed bag. Some seem new, others look retro at best.
Definitely something. I should listen to the recording. EVP recorded by the chair, Harbour Cottage. This seems like a safe enough place for my evidence. I have added any new evidence to the collection.
west by north, three, ninety miles, twenty-seven, minus slowly. Bridlington, northeast, one, seven miles, one thousand twenty-seven, rising slowly. Standard to A wooden plank. Could prove useful. These other planks are far too rotten. Some kind of sea monster. Is there anybody there? Am I alone in this place? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Show me you are here! Are you trapped in this place? Can I help you in some way? Saxton Caverns Tidal Chamber. Haunting, haunting recording in the Saxton Caverns Tidal Chamber.
disintegrated. The containers are depressingly empty. Bright light filtering through the gloom. Treasures have long since gone. Listen to the recording. Haunting recording in the Saxton Caverns tidal chamber. recording from the Saxton Caverns. I wonder if this Gruul character has a living descendant.
find a link to Spivey, the smuggler. Symbolic images or ancient graffiti? Yes, this is all very amusing, but I'd like to ask you something. Look, could we forget the ragdoll for a second? Jemima. Hello, Jemima. Can I speak with Mr. Gruel? Mr. Gruel, I really must insist that you... I'll have a look around, if you don't mind.
last, the book is stuck fast. Hello again. Hello, lad. What can I do for you? Could you open this book for me? Oh, lost the key, have you? Not exactly. I never had it. Ah, uh, I see. Leave it with me. I'll see to it this afternoon. I'll leave you to your work. See you again, lad. Celtic Corner. It's worth a look. Can I help at all? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Browsing, eh? See anything you like? I'll let you know. Still snapping, eh?
Could you help me? Certainly. Anything for you, Nigel. Ah, news travels fast. The arrival of a young man in Sexton would not escape me. I see. Well, I hope I live up to expectation. Oh, you've already managed that. I'm Nigel, Nigel Danvers, and you are? I'm Rice. Thanks for asking. Rice Brett. Is that Celtic, or Welsh, or something? Welsh. Well done. Not just a pretty face, you. Tell me about the photo competition. Sext and snappers? Yes. Can anyone take part? If you have a camera and a good eye. I'll give it my best shot. Any tips? Keep in mind that I see a lot of Saxton, day by day. So try to snap something a bit more unusual. Unusual? Hmm, I can certainly manage that. Know any local ghost stories? Oh, hundreds. Check the bookshelf, if you haven't already. I will. Is that your cat? Hi, meet Mr. Tibbs. He knows a story or two. What do you know about Nanny Noah? Ha! Old Noah been at you, has she? Well, I wouldn't say that. She just seems... Distant. She's a good friend. But even I have to admit that she's away with the fairies. Most of the time. Thanks for your time, Rhys. No problem, boy. Any time. The bear, next to the harbour. An abandoned building, it looks foreboding. Hello again. Ah, young Mr. Danvers. You'll be wanting your book. Yes. Did you open it? Of course. Wouldn't be much of a handyman if I hadn't. You didn't uh, read it, did you? Nope. Reading's not my strong point. You can't read? 
Reading's not the only skill, you know. Oh, um, quite. I should go somewhere private to study. lead. Now for the rest of the book. The tracks, the fens. Perhaps this Ega character lived along the train line. A possible lead. There's something wrong with the signal. Is it stuck?
This must be Acre House on Raven Lane. Good afternoon. Oh, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have... Oh, no, no, it's my fault. I was miles away, somewhere between spring and summer. You should be complimented on your garden. Oh, thank you. It's both a burden and a joy. It feeds us and provides much of what we need. You sound like a witch. I beg your pardon? Oh, no, I, I meant as in... A wicker or, or chemist? I see. Yes. I guess you could be right. I do create many charms and potions from Kettle and Lee. Such pretty young things. Is that horrible letter meant for you? Oh, don't. <laughs> that silly old codger. He should know better. His affections upset my dear Robert. Bless him. He's a sensitive soul. Robert? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Catherine Carswell. My husband Robert is in his workshop, fuming at present. Why is that? He's convinced I'm going to run off with the farmer. And are you? Oh, goodness no, smelly man. I'll get no joy from Robert until he's calmed himself. Hmm, how will you do that? Via his stomach, as always. I can smell cooking. Ah, oh, that'll be the broth. I'm making lunch. Why don't you join us? I'd love to. What's on the menu? An old favourite. Seven pigeon and nut broth. It's an Anglo-Saxon recipe. Really? Now there's a thing. Is it, well, edible? Good heavens, I should hope so. Perhaps you could help. I'm not exactly a TV celebrity chef, though. TV chefs? What's that? You've lost me. Oh, not to worry. Where do we start? I'll pick some more of these bay leaves while you read the recipe. It's in the kitchen, past Jasper the Parrot. I'll have a look around, if you don't mind. This must be Jasper, the parrot. Hmm, maybe a mockingbird instead. It's been washed smooth by heavy spring rain. Excuse me, but can you... I've told you, silly goose, that I'm not to be disturbed. M no, Mr. Carswell, I am not... The afternoon post or my lunch is all I'm expecting. Now get to it. There's precious work to be done. A 
pink flower I can't identify. Fresh chives, picked from the lane. A yellowish flower, maybe a dandelion. Springtime flower, maybe a daisy. Birds, I think, or bracken. Wild garlic from the stream. Wild garlic from the stream. If you have any ingredients, Nigel, do add them to the pot. Ah, oh, the cob nuts, crushed perfectly. Chives, mmm, freshly trimmed. Wild garlic, perfectly chopped. Ah, wood mushrooms, chopped to perfection. Is that all? Is the broth ready to stew? Almost. We need one final ingredient, something rather special. Aha, uh -huh. tell me more. We need some hedgerow balm. It's a natural sedative. It will flavour the broth as well as provide a little stress relief for that husband of mine. He won't notice a thing. What does balm look like? There's a painting in the bedroom. Take a good look.
The pattern has been bleached by the summer sun. Hmm, this must be the soothing balm. I think I saw some, yes, in the hedge. This must be the soothing balm. If you have any ingredients, Nigel, do add them to the pot. Hedro balm leaves for Catherine Carswell. There, it's ready to stew. It will need a good two hours in this stove. You look exhausted. Put your feet up by the hearth, and I'll put the kettle on. Having eaten, Robert Carswell may be more accommodating. 